It took 13 freaking years for James Cameron to finally complete his post-masterpiece, Avatar, The Way of Water, and it is surely the talk of the town. Imagine making a movie for 13 years and getting no massive shout out. Well, wouldn't that be sad? Even though it came out more than a decade after the last Pandora movie, The Way of Water feels like a nice return to the world of Pandora. Both movies use cutting edge special effects and motion capture technology to bring a unique and beautiful world to life in ways that most people couldn't even imagine. Even though both movies have their good points and are pretty close in terms of overall quality, one will always be better, even if just by a little bit. Fans will just have to compare these two movies until Avatar 3 comes out. And did you know that during the filming of Avatar 2, James Cameron has already started filming scenes for Avatars 3 and 4? <laughs> well, that's a little too early. Okay, okay, coming back to the video. Let's compare how the two Avatar movies square off against each other. Even though both Avatar movies have amazing world building, visuals, and relaxation, a frequent criticism about both is that they don't have that much of a deep story. Still, the stories of Avatar and The Way of Water are very much different from each other. In the first Avatar, Jake Sully and the audience are introduced to the world of Pandora, where Jake slowly learns to understand the native Na'vi before deciding to join them in their fight against the humans. In The Way of Water, the story picks up many years later. Jake and his family are being chased, so they go into hiding and learn more about the world of Pandora. The Way of Water is a fun movie, but most of it is just setting up the sequels, expanding the universe, and even introducing new characters. Because of this, Jake and his family aren't very active heroes, and most of the story takes place in the third act of the movie. The first Avatar was compared to movies like Dances with Wolves and Pocahontas. The overall plot itself isn't new, but when you add a sci-fi spin on such a classic story, it makes for a new tale to be told. Compared to The Way of Water, the first Avatar is much more focused on plot and telling a full story. Most of the time, it's the protagonists and antagonists in action-adventure stories that keep readers wanting more. The entertaining and likable characters in both Avatar and The Way of Water only serve to complicate the task of choosing between the two films. Both Jake Sully and Natiri were introduced in the first Avatar film, and they play significant roles in both sequels. Characters that aren't Avatars themselves are almost always human or human-like. Grace helps create a sense of empathy toward the Na'vi from the human side of the fight, while Trudy continues Cameron's reputation for bringing in strong female characters. However, in The Way of Water, the focus is shifted from Jake and Natiri to their offspring. Now that The Way of Water isn't as front and center, viewers can focus on Jake's kids as they discover Pandora, making them feel like fully formed characters with whom they can move forward with in the franchise. Avatar doesn't have as big of an impact on culture as some other franchises, but it has one of the most creative and interesting alien worlds ever put on film. In the first movie, the world of Pandora is shown, and almost every shot is beautiful. The audience learns about the different animals and plants that live in the world, as well as the amazing environment. This immerses fans fully in this strange and beautiful new world. That's not even talking about how much detail is put into the Na'vi culture to make it feel real. The Way of Water does add some new information to the Avatar universe, of course. In the first movie, the other Na'vi clans are briefly shown, but fans don't learn much about how they are different from the Omatakaya clan, which live in the forest. In The Way of Water, we meet the Metkayina clan and learn about how their culture is different from that of the Omatakaya clan. We also learn about the underwater world of Pandora, which has even more new and beautiful creatures and environments. Even though it's interesting, the first Avatar was the one that introduced the Na'vi and the whole world of Pandora, so it's hard not to call it the better job of building a world. Unique and impressive visuals of Pandora are present in both Avatar and The Way of Water, which contributes to the film's shared ability to transport viewers to their imaginary planet. The original Avatar used cutting-edge CGI and a massive budget to create an immersive and visually stunning version of the continent Pandora. The Way of Water, released more than 10 years after Avatar and with a far greater budget, features an equally impressive visual presentation. Unlike Avatar, 
which is largely set in artificially created environments that appear generic and military, the way of water spends relatively little time in such places. Because of this, we can appreciate the incredible beauty of the world's visual architecture to a greater degree. Forever changing the filmmaking process, the Avatar movies also serve as a source of inspiration for filmmakers working in the industry today and in the future. Using the then recently invented technology of motion capture, the original Avatar was able to record the performances of the actors playing the Na'vi in a way that was both realistic and avoided the uncanny valley, which may have ruined the movies for audiences. Cameron also created a digital camera system that let him view his work in progress in real time. The Way of Water is groundbreaking in his use of motion capture, even though the technique is now widely employed. The Way of Water is the first film to employ motion capture while filming underwater, which is why the underwater sequences are so breathtaking. The Way of Water also features enhanced technology from the original film thanks to advancements in science and filmmaking over the past decade. Still, the original Avatar stands head and shoulders above the rest of the franchise when it comes to pioneering innovative techniques that have permanently altered the movie business. There are positive and negative aspects to both Avatar and The Way of Water, and the latter is undeniably a technological marvel. If the first weekend is any indication, The Way of Water will make quite a splash at the box office and generate just the right amount of anticipation for the third film in the franchise. On the other hand, it was the first Avatar that gave the world its first glimpse at this new way of thinking and its cutting edge technology. The Way of Water has its strengths, but Avatar revolutionized the cinema industry by introducing a brand new universe and a captivating tale to moviegoers throughout the world. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this.